Welcome to the M521 Controller Float Level Switch Connection Guide. In this video, we will demonstrate how to connect a float level switch to your M521 controller. Proper connection of the float level switch ensures accurate monitoring and control of tank or sump levels. Let's get started. Step 1. Identify the connection ports on the M521 controller. Connection ports 1, 2 and 3 are designated for the lower level tank or sump, the one you are emptying. Connection ports 4, 5 and 6 are for the upper level tank or sump, the one you are filling. Step 2. Connect the float level switch for the lower level tank or sump. The float level switch should be connected to ports 1 and 3 with a bridge piece between ports 2 and 3. This configuration enables the controller to monitor the level of the lower tank or sump accurately. The float level switch provides input signals based on the fluid level, allowing the controller to control the emptying process effectively. Step 3. Connect the float level switch for the upper level tank or sump. The float level switch should be connected to ports 4 and 6 with a bridge piece between ports 5 and 6. By connecting the float level switch to the designated ports, the controller can monitor the level of the upper tank or sump accurately. The float level switch provides input signals based on the fluid level, allowing the controller to control the filling process effectively. Step 4. When there is no float level in a lower level tank or sump, ports 1, 2 and 3 should be bridged between each other. This ensures continuous communication within the controller when the float level is absent. Thank you for watching our M521 controller float level switch connection guide. We hope this video has provided you with a clear understanding of how to connect a float level switch to your controller. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please leave them in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative guides. Happy controlling!